Okay, and this uh, first thing we're going to talk about is changing log things around. And so they talk about log of base changes. And these rules that are up above are basically for any base, base 10, or any of that kind of stuff. And all this is really saying is that when you want to change a base or a log, um, our calculator can only do base 10 and base E. Notice how the first example is base 5. Oh, crap, don't know how to do that. So I could rewrite it as if I want to log base 10 of 18 divided by log uh, base 10 of 5. Type that into my calculator. So if you don't have a calculator today, you're kind of in trouble. And then you just find the answer. So log 18 over log 5. So let me clear this out. So log of, I think it was 18 parentheses divided by the log of 5 parentheses. Done. So my answer is 1.796. 1.796. So I just write that down. 1.796. It doesn't matter whether you use LN or LOG, one's base 10, one's base 5. So in the second example, instead of using LOG, I'm going to use LN. So here I can do LN of 42 divided by LN of 2. I could have done LOG because of the only two kinds of logs on my calculator. So I take LN of 42. And I divide that by the ln. You have to stay with the same kind. So if you start with natural log, go with natural log. If you start with that little g, which is common log, stay with common log. 5.392. 5.392. Here's my answer there. Just going one way or the other. So looking at the properties of logarithms, Rule number one, if you're looking at it, is talking about multiplication and addition. In the first part, this is where um, multiplication is turning into addition. So this is multiplication to addition. And in the reverse, not in the reverse, pardon me, in Natural log, it's the same thing. So it doesn't matter whether you're using any log base 7, base 2, base 10, base 5, or base E. Remember, LN just means your base is E. So multiplication becomes addition. In the second rule, that they're talking about in number 2, again, these are the same thing, so I'm only going to write it once. This is talking about division to subtraction. And I'll show you examples of all these things in just a minute. And then in the last one, <clears throat> they're talking about that a power or exponent becomes multiplication. I'm going to say it the way I want to say it. So let's just see some examples before we actually do any of these problems. Number one, here's an example. If I tell you that I have the log base 7 of 3x, I can write that as the log base 7 of 3 plus the log base 7 of x. Look, the 3 and the x were multiplied, and now I split them up and wrote it as two logs being added. Well, I'm going to do my second example in the light blue up above. Number two. This is going from division to subtraction. If I take the log base 4 of 3 over x. This is the log base 4 of 3 minus the log base 4 of x. So 
So these are color coded to match up rules so you can see how they're applied all at once. I'll get to your question later. Number three. In number three, we're going to talk about a power. So this is really like the log base five of x squared. And it turns into two times the log base five of x. The word expand is code. So every time you see math words, you better uh, learn some vocabulary. And the word expand means stretch it out. So this is really like saying the log, oh, I love it. the log, uh, oh, there's no number there. What's the base? 10. Uh, 10. Of 2 plus the log of x3, which is x cubed, plus the log of y4. So all three of those things have been multiplied. So now I stretched them out, and I'm using plus addition. This is multiplication to addition, expanding. Am I done? No. No, because there are exponents. That's rule number three. So this is really like log of 2, which means I have a base of 10, plus 3 times the log of x, plus 4 times the log of y. Um, I don't like the fact that I have a square root involved here in the second example, so I'm going to rewrite it as the natural log of, and on the bottom I still have that y squared, but on the top I'm going to write it as parentheses x plus 5 to the 1 half power. Now in case you forgot an aside here, bless you. If I have something like um, the square root of x cubed, you may forget uh, but I'm here to remind you that there's a 2 in the crook of that radical. And this can be rewritten as x to the 3 over 2. The power, or in other words, the exponent goes on top, and the root value goes on the bottom. So as another aside, if I did this again, if I had the radical with a 5 for the root and x to the 7th power, that's rewritten as x to the 7 fifths. So just a reminder for those of you who don't remember that junk. Then going back to our problem at hand, I notice that there's division. So division changes to subtraction. So if I rewrite this, I get the natural log of parentheses x plus 5 to the 1 half power minus the natural log of y squared. Am I done? No. no, there are powers, so I take care of those. So that goes to multiplication. So now I have one half times the natural log of the stuff minus two times the natural log of the stuff. And there's my final answer. So I change division into subtraction. I change power into multiplication. It's another code word. What's the code word this time? Condense. Condense. This word means one log. When you get done, you can only have one log. How many are in example A? If you can't answer that question, get out. What? How many logs are in A? Three. three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Let's look at each log one at a time. First part, I see three pieces. I notice that there are minuses and pluses. You guys see those? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to wait to take care of that. And I'm going to do the power stuff first. So notice how in the last problem we did the power thing last. Now when I put them back together, I'm going to do the power thing first. So when I rewrite this, I'm going to rewrite it the following way. I'm going to start out going log, holy dumb teacher, log x squared, because the 2 is going to the power, minus the log of y cubed, because the 3 is going to the power, 
plus the log of z to the one half power, which we know is the same as square root. <coughs> Anything that has a minus is representing division, which means, in other words, it's on the bottom of a fraction. So watch the hocus pocus here. Log. There's going to be a fraction because I have a minus sign. The minus sign is pertaining to this log. So the thing that's being logged after the minus sign is what goes on the bottom. That means just the y cubed is on the bottom. There are no other minus signs anywhere. That means the other jumps on the top. The x squared is on the top. And the z to the 1 half power is on the top. If you had wanted to, I would also take the log of x squared times the square root of z, if you want to write it that way, over y cubed. OK, so now some of the questions maybe that you had before. Oh, uh, um, how many negatives are there? There are two. So this one third out in the front, that's kind of confusing. I'm going to save that for a little bit. Let's look on the inside. I'm going to put the powers where they belong first. So I see ln of x2 minus ln y4 minus, oh, that one doesn't have one, so I'll just leave it as ln of z plus 2. So all I've done is I've taken all the exponents and put them where they belong on top because I'm going backwards. How many logs are inside of that bracket? Uh, there, are three. there are three. They're all natural logs. One, two, three, again. Three. How many of them are negative? Two. two. So how many things should be on the bottom of the fraction? Two. So let's write it down. One third. I can only have one log in the end. Ln of. There's going to be a fraction. And when I get done, there should be two things on the bottom. There's one log. Don't write ln again, or I'll bust your fingers. What goes on the bottom? Y4. Because the y is not cubed, it, there's a 4 there. And z plus 2. Because those are the things that come after the negatives. Just in case you didn't see them, here's one negative. Here's the other negative. We're not writing the logs down. We're just writing down what comes after the log. That means there's one thing that's not negative. The x squared thing. That goes on the top. Am I done? No. I'm close, but I'm not done. There's that one-third. The one-third is really the same as a exponent. exponent. So I can write this as the ln of junk to the one-third. And you may leave it like that if you want. Son of So on the bottom, we had that y4, and the parentheses z plus 2. And on the top, I had x squared. So you may leave it like that. If you want, you can write it like this. So I would take two answers, the one that you see right now, or I would also take the cube root, because that's what one third power means, cube root. I don't really care which way you write it. Um, your calculator.